On this example, they're wanting you to use the 68%, 95%, and 99.7% of the um, 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations from the mean rule. And the one that pops up here, we are looking at a normally distributed pregnancy with a standard deviation of 10 days. What percentages of birth would be expected to occur more than 30 days after the mean pregnancy length? So if we were to kind of draw this curve, we would be 99.7% um, of the data fall points would fall within um, three standard deviations, but you have to remember that some would be 30 days before the mean and some would be 30 days after. So you have to take 100 minus this number and then divide it by two. That's really what you're doing in this computation. Um, so you take in your calculator 100 minus 99.7. So 0.3% of the time it falls without of those three standard deviations. However, you have to be careful because divided by two, since it's symmetric, half of them would be before 30 days, before the mean, and half of those would be 30 days after the mean. So you're really looking at 0.15 here. So um, it's 0.15%, right? So let's look at it just trying another one as a similar question. Here we have nine days, right? So the standard deviation being nine, we're looking at what percentage of births would occur more than 18 days. So here we're looking at two standard deviations. So we're in the 95%. Um, 95% fall within two standard deviations. So I want the percent that fall without that. So 100 minus 95. And then I'm going to divide by two to get that um, upper bound. So I don't want to know about the lower bound. So 2.5%. So 2.5%. Now there is a few different calculators you could use and you could use a standard normal curve, right? And if you estimate the standard normal curve, if we look at between, you can see 68, roughly 68% 68 fall between one standard deviation. That's that minus one to one. If we look at minus two to two, we see 95.4% and then minus three to three is that 99.7% fall within those standard deviations. You can use this calculator and look at the standard and we can go um, probability greater than three. This is that percent that is the probability greater than three, right? If you're in one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations, that's a very small percent. Now you have to remember on this calculator, you have to convert it to percent. So we got one point, we got 0.15%, and here really it's 0.13499. So that's where that estimation, there couldn't be that error. So if they want you to use the empirical rule that your book goes over per probability, for normal distribution, this is just an approximation. And then you can use a calculator to, to approximate it as well to see that kind of visualization going on. So you really only have um, three different types of questions here, either outside of one standard deviation, outside of two standard deviations, or outside of three standard deviations. And again, they're really wanting to use that 68%, 95%, and 99.7%. And then you take 100 minus that, you divide it by two because some fall above it and some fall below it, and it's normally distributed, meaning it's symmetric. So hopefully that answers this question, and I'll answer the second question in another video.